My name is Laura Smith and my current position is a certified ophthalmic medical technologist and I'm also a supervisor of the eye clinic. We do multiple different types of diagnostic testing. We do ultrasound, photography, visual field testing, and all of this will aid the doctor in their diagnosis. So a typical day for me would start uh, around 6.30. Um, I'd get here about an hour before all my colleagues, make sure the schedule looks good, um, open all the clinic doors, get everything up and running. Then we go right into diagnostic testing or clinic, depending what's going on that day. Uh, we work with about 45 different doctors, so they rotate in and out all day. And then in addition, we run diagnostic clinics. I do a lot of ultrasound testing, specifically in the oncology clinic. So we're measuring uh, lesions in the back of the eye and determining um, what's inside them. Are they malignant or benign? So a lot of patients, they're, they're quite nervous when they come here. You know, they may hear that we're injecting something into their eye or we're touching their eyeball. Um, so really when we first meet the patient, it's just explaining exactly what they're going to have done, um, putting them at ease. And then even after the test is done, ensuring that we're going to make sure the results go um, to the doctor in a timely fa fashion um, and that you know, they will be taken care of uh, to the best of our ability. For the Certified Ophthalmic Medical Technology, the education is two years of an undergrad of um, any university or college. I did science and then a two-year specialized program um, dealing just with the eye. So you're in an eye clinic, uh, hands-on every day, and the techs and the doctors are your teachers. I always knew I didn't want to work behind a desk. I really wanted to have that patient interaction or people interaction. And uh, working in a hospital, you're seeing patients all the time. We can see up to 300 patients a day in our clinics. We've had a lot of students that maybe even still in high school that are interested in our profession. And we do offer tours or if they wanted to come and uh, see what we do for half a day um, and just interact with us and just to see if this career is for them. Things will show up in the eye that are happening in the body. So, for example, diabetes is fairly common, but we'll actually see some very specific changes in the back of the eye that, say the patient didn't have a diagnosis yet of diabetes, just by seeing these findings would lead us um, down the road to investigate that uh, d d systemic disease for them. So even though we're just looking at the eyeball, we really get a good idea of all the systemic diseases. Um, and you just learn something new every day. That's the best part. <laughs>